Hey guys, I just wanted to throw up a quick favorites video. This is a favorites, I guess, for November. So we're just going to start off with face products. Um, foundation that I'm still using and loving is the MAC Pro Longwear. Um, I recently, I have a... I have a review that I recorded and edited. I don't know if I uploaded it though. So yeah, um, I'm just going to say I love this. Um, check my review, which I will link to right about here. And that will go more in depth about why I love this so much. Uh, next face product that I'm loving, and um, I'm using this to set my MAC foundation. There is a kitten crawling up my leg. So if I get angry and make angry faces, that is why. I've been using my e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder to set my foundation just looks like that. I don't use the sponge. I use my flat top powder brush. You just take it and press it in wherever you need to set your powder. That's only $3, so um, I definitely recommend this as a mattifying powder. Moving on to lip products that I have been using and loving. Um, I am absolutely in love with NYX right now. There are actually multiple NYX products in this as my favorites, but I have a couple of the Lip Smacking Fun Colors lipsticks. And this one is in Pandora, and this one is in Pumpkin Pie. Um, I like pairing Pumpkin Pie with Pumpkin, but yeah, I absolutely love this color Pandora. Um, I don't really know what to compare it to, but it's just like this really pretty, um, like purpley pink color. I actually had this in my recent haul video because I just got this. There is a kitten pulling on my toes. Oh my goodness. Um, and I'm absolutely in love with this. It is the NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in Gold. Um, I actually have this on my lips right now to go with the eye glitter. I don't know how I feel about this on my lips. I do know I want to put it on my eyeballs. And I think I like it on my lips. Um, it's also good for just putting it in the middle of your lip, uh, lipstick to make the color really pop and make your lips look fuller. Gloss-wise, I have a couple of glosses here. I have my, um, In Color by Jordana Lip Shine Shimmer Glaze and Sugar Cookie. These are the ones that smell amazing, have quite a bit of glitter in them, which I could try to show you, but you wouldn't be able to see it anyways and uh, have no taste whatsoever, but I like them quite a bit. And then my H&M Gloss, this is in Cocoa Kiss in Aruba, and it is just like a nice, like shimmery, kind of a bronzy pink color. Um, John actually picked this up for me from work, but they only got in like the lip glosses, so my friend who works at the one in West Hollywood, AJ, who I love and I miss, and I wish he had not moved, but I completely support that. Um, he said something about sending me some makeup, so... See, AJ, you get shoutouts even when you aren't even here. Boy, I love you. Moving on to some eye products. Mmm, <clears throat> kitten claws in the thigh. Ouch! Perfect. These are the NYX Candy Glitter Liners. They are the um, glitter eyeliners, although you can put these anywhere, really. But, um, they just come with a wand with a little brush on the end. So they're super easy to use. They go on well. Once they dry, they stay put really, really well. Um, I really, really like these. I actually had one of these on for a very long time, not too long ago, and it stayed on the whole time. So I was very satisfied with that. Um, I have a couple more eye products here. Um, since we're talking about NYX, I'll go ahead and throw out the single eyeshadows. I love these a lot. Um, I think what I'm going to do is look up a tutorial on depotting these, and I'm going to put them all inside of a magnetized palette. That way I have a customized palette and I just gotta figure out how to depot them and I'm sure someone on YouTube is doing it. So if you're actually interested in doing that as well, I'll link to it in the down bar below and I'm gonna pick up a magnetized palette or make my own if I can figure that out too. Just wanted to reiterate for those who have not used it, the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pens. These are my favorite liquid eyeliners. I absolutely love these. Um, they are very, very true to waterproof overall unless your eyes are like really, really leaky. Um, they stay on really, really well, like to the point that they're kind of difficult to get off at the end of the night. There is a kitten holding onto the bottom of my foot. Ouch. This is something we just recently started trying. It is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. We got this for John because his eyes, um, sometimes start watering and he can't get them to stop. Um, so we got this and I like this a lot. John, John says it's not waterproof, but I mean, it's a, it's a eyeliner pencil, so it's kind of hard to get those to stay waterproof. There's a kitten claw clawing, clawing her way up my leg. It feels fantastic. So John says, yeah, these aren't waterproof, but I like them. You are wet. Why are you wet? I'm done with this. I like this a lot. Um, this is one of my new favorite eyeliners. So this is in color 261, Noir. Do you see this? This is very distracting. You're gonna fall. Oh my goodness, really? 
All right, I recently started using the, this is like the generic of the um, Aveeno Naturally Radiant Facial Moisturizer. This is the Naturally Beaming Daily Moisturizer. I wanted to get the generic to try first, um, just because the products are going to be incredibly similar. So if something like this doesn't work on my skin, then obviously the full price item isn't going to work. Um, I actually really, really like this, so I am glad that I picked this up. And um, yeah, I'm very fond of that. So this cat is Satan. And then the last product I'm going to talk about today um, is the St. Ives Naturally Clear Green Tea Scrub. This is the same company that makes the apricot scrub that um, is actually worse for your face because it damages your pores and brings them together. If anyone knows anything about this and knows that this also does that, please tell me immediately so I can stop using it. Because as of right now, I absolutely love it. Um, it's, you know, formulated without parabens and phylates. It's not tested on animals and it does not contain animal ingredients. So that's why I picked it up. But if this is the same problem as the apricot scrub, please let me know. I don't want to use it then. Um, I've been using my e.l.f. 100 piece palette a lot and my um, NYX makeup artist kit. Um, that's about all I got. I completely lost my train of thought just now. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. We'll see you again soon. Can you say bye? This cat is seriously Satan. She is evil. You know what she did? Throw this on at the end just for fun. The other day, we had to leave her alone while we were at Thanksgiving and we locked her in the bathroom like we always do. She made it her personal business to knock over everything on top of my makeup cabinet, which includes all of my brushes and the brush holders that are full of vase filler. All 2,000 beads. Okay, I'm putting her down. She's hurting me now. So we came home to a very, very messy bathroom. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off because I know she's about to attack my leg. So thanks for tuning in, you guys. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.